Hello there. I wonder if the BBC and Sky will be pursuing Nicola Sturgeon on her jaunt to Italy in order to embarrass her with questions about the Patrick Grady issue. So the SNP leader, Nicola Sturgeon, has decided to say zilch about the Patrick Grady issue and is elected instead to fly to the Connected Women Leaders at Bellagio in Italy. Flying in a gas-guzzling jet, would I add, when in coalition with the Scottish Greens. This Connected Women Leaders event is a meeting organised under the Rockefeller Foundation, by the way. So she's at a women leaders do, and only last month Nicola Sturgeon was refusing to define what a woman was. Maybe her fellow attendees can apprise her of that, if they've made that definition themselves, that is. Anyway, the mission of this group is to activate the power of women working together through connected leadership to find better solutions to global challenges. Now I did a search for connected men leaders, but no luck as yet. And while she's there, the SNP are having an internal struggle about how they silence the poor staffer that got accosted by one of their MPs and how to get that MP, Patrick Grady, through the political laundromat to make him pure as the driven snow again for the electorate. So how is Sturgeon going to explain this to the other members of the Bellagio group? especially as her party is threatening the whistleblower who recorded Ian Blackford and others giving Grady their full support, threatening that whistleblower with legal action, if they can find out who it was, that is. How is she going to say that this is zero tolerance, or won't it matter because the SNP staffer was male? Or is zero tolerance in the SNP all about zero tolerance of those who rock the SNP indie boat? At least there are stories that the staffer is going to take the legal battle to the SNP. Now the job of the press is to hound Sturgeon down and embarrass her in exactly the same way they would hound Boris, for example, were he to do the same thing. Cut and run away in silence to attend an ethics convention, maybe. But somehow I doubt they will be bothering their St Nicola. Do you?